The Horde will stop at nothing to claim the lifeblood of Azeroth. I fear that after the war against the Legion, our ranks are too depleted to stave off their aggression. It is time for the Alliance to bring in new members to join our cause. We have established an embassy in Stormwind to spearhead these efforts. Meet me there. Thank you for joining us, Champion. These are dire times indeed. We all know the Alliance incurred heavy losses in the war against the Legion. And even now, the world bleeds in the aftermath of Sargeras's final strike. Meanwhile, the Horde musters its forces and arms for war. Their aggression must not go unanswered. Our future depends on bringing other like-minded allies into the fold. I call upon those of you gathered here for your suggestions. Victory on Argus was only possible because the heroes of Azeroth fought side by side with the Army of the Light. Many of our bravest soldiers gave their lives for the cause. Those who remain would be proud to join the Alliance. Among our number are brave initiates about to undertake the arduous path of becoming Lightforged. Thank you, High Exarch. Lightforged soldiers would indeed bring strength to our numbers. High King, I remember the days when my people and yours fought together against the Horde. I reached out to them in hopes of seeing Silvermoon return to the Alliance. My efforts proved futile. But I did learn of a group of Sindori who have been exiled for studying the Void as I have. If I could locate them, their knowledge might aid our cause. Stormwind has suffered at the hands of those who succumb to the Shadow's Whispers. But if others could master its power as you have, they would make formidable allies. Thank you both for your counsel. I would like to hear our champion's perspective on which of these potential allies we should reach out to first. A just cause is always worth fighting for. A king is only as noble as the causes he serves. Kronikai Crystal. We fight for home, for family. It is a good day for a hunt. Aim true.
Be vigilant. Never lose hope. Stormwind honors your service to the Alliance. What news? We do what we Lady must Windrunner, for those we love. Please begin the search for your exiled kin. Perhaps our champion here can assist you. We will do our best to locate them, High King. This way, champion. The Ghostlands. This was once Eversong Forest. A place of unbridled beauty. Windrunner Spire, my family home, stands not far from here. These woods once brought such joy to me and my sisters. To see them like this fills my heart with sorrow. It is a good day for a hunt. Drathea's quest for power led him to seek the fragments of an ancient world, one teetering on the brink of the void itself. His note said it existed within a rift in the very fabric of reality. He never found this place, but I have succeeded where he failed. The way will soon be open to us. Drathea believed this rift held an ancient object of unspeakable might. Perhaps this will be the key that allows us to gain control over the shadows. Based on these notes, I believe I can reopen the passage to this world he spoke of. Let me see. We each walk a line. Choose yours. We do what we are ready to proceed. Stay on your guard, champion. We do not know what we might find inside. Magister Umbrick. I am Illyria Windrunner. Illyria Windrunner? How did... My, what an unexpected honor. My people and I heard tales of what transpired on Argus. As you might imagine, we have a keen interest in your interaction with the Dark and Naru. Another time, perhaps. This champion and I have been searching for you. We know of your exile from Silvermoon and thought we shared common ground. Indeed. Like you, we believe the Void can be used to defend life rather than consume it. We have made great progress, Lady Windrunner, but many mysteries remain. Take this cube, for instance. It is an ancient device, perhaps even predating life on Azeroth. It seems to have been locked, and we cannot yet open it. Careful, Umbrick. Answers to such mysteries often come at a price. Look out! At last. The future I foresaw has come to pass. Thank you for opening the way. Show yourself! Who are you? Names are of little consequence. A more interesting question is, what shall you become? 
My people were reshaped by the void, stripped of the limitations of flesh. We offer you the same gift. Resist the whispers, Umbric. This gift you are offered is little more than enslavement. I feel the power calling to me. Changing me. Come, champion. We must stop this transformation before my people are lost. Over here! Even shattered as it is, this place echoes with the whispers of the Great Ones who were slain, and the hatred of he who broke this world. Dark forces surge through these ashen stones. No one to turn to the will not enslave me, Ethereum, nor will they claim my brothers and sisters. That vortex up ahead pulses with power. Let us investigate, champion. This void storm is a conduit, a doorway that must be closed. Why do you resist? You stand on the threshold of a grand destiny. No. These people are not yours. They are not lost. Do you not see what we offer? The majesty of chaos. The glory of infinite hunger. Why do you fight I your destiny, Windrider? Restrain me! Cast off by my shadows! I see our through your lies, our own So you will, will be not us. define our future. So be it. Your death is permission. Incomplete is necessary. No! The only thing that will be finished here Champion. is you. My people are free, but we have been changed. 
and the voices. Zazan tried to tear away your mortality, to make you like him, a slave to his hunger. But your fate is still your own, Umbric. I can teach you to quiet the whispers, to make the shadows serve you instead of you serving them. My arrogance was nearly our undoing. I dabbled with powers far beyond my control. If you will train us, Illyria, we will follow where you lead. I sense the powers at your command. They are considerable. You would make valuable allies of the Alliance. Silvermoon turned its back on us long ago. Today, we are reborn, and it is fitting that we walk a new path. From this day forth, the Alliance has our loyalty. And in turn, I pledge to aid you on your journey. Our champion and I will inform High King Rin of this news. Then I will return, so that we can begin your training. It will take some time for us to adjust to our new forms. We look forward to your return, Lady Windrunner. And Champion, you have our deepest thanks. Sometimes we must fight for what we believe in. High King Rin. Our champion and I found the Sindori exiles. Like me, they have been changed by the Void. But their hearts and minds remain their own. I will be their guide. I will train them to control the Whispers of Shadow. In return, they will fight for the Alliance against all its foes. It may take time for these Void Elves to earn the trust of some in our ranks, but so long as they adhere to your teachings, they are welcome in the Alliance. You have done us a great service this day, Lady Windrunner. Champion, you have my thanks. It is an honor to serve once more, High King. For the Alliance! For the Alliance! For the Alliance above all. You are always welcome in Stormwind. Victory in the light. <laughs> <laughs>